Hello YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. I am here with another video and in this video we are also going to cover two more quizzes related to RTA theory test. So let's jump into the quiz. I am clicking on this English button for uh, because we are solving English quizzes and we, in our last three videos we have covered Dubai light motor theory test and Dubai motorcycle theory test. In this video we will cover Abu Dhabi light motor theory test. So let's jump into this and uh, I also want to tell you that this website also provides you sign tests which is images based quizzes. These are also the important ones so also practice this. And now we are going to start test number one of RTA Dubai rules test number one. So let's get started. Now our question number one is the roads in Abu Dhabi are most slippery when it has just started to rain. Option B is correct. Next question. Question number two is if a driver is traveling at 70 km an hour in a 60 km in an hour zone, how much more likely he has to crash? four times option d is correct one next question question number three is which of these must be working for your car to be road worthy option number two all of them using a hands-free kit makes you how much safer using a mobile phone when driving not at all it will not save you definitely and our next question which is question number five is you and your passenger must wear a seat belt all the time when driving you must need to wear a seat belt all the time when you are driving which is the last option and our question number six is when approaching flood water on a road on in an ordinary saloon car you should not enter it if its depth is more than 50 percent of your tire height option a is correct and question number seven is when it is raining in Abu Dhabi, there is usually an accident on the road every two minutes, which is option number three. Our next question is, which is question number eight. In the fog, you should use low beam headlights. Option D is the correct one. Next question. Question number nine. If your car is equipped with airbag, you must still wear your seat belt at all time. Definitely. Always remember you need to wear your seat belt all the time when you are driving. And our next question is which is question number 10. The best place and alignment for the baby safety seat is rear seat and rear facing which is option number B. Next question, question number 11. Children who have outgrown child safety seats should use booster seats until they are what heights? Option number D, 145 cm. Next question, question number 12 is, if visibility in fog gets really poor, you should pull off the road. Option B is the correct option. Next question, question number 13 is, if you make a mistake that anger another driver, you should apologize immediately. Definitely, in uh, not in a driving case, but in all the cases when you have your mistakes and other person anger, you need to apologize immediately. Always remember this. Actually, these are general knowledge questions are also included in this theory test. Uh, now, our next question is, question number 14 is, what is the maximum legal speed on urban roads in Abu Dhabi? Maximum uh, legal speed is 80 km an hour, which is option number B. Next question. An average car traveling at 60 km an hour will take how long to stop in normal roads condition? It is 33 meter. Option C. Next question. Question number 16 is what is the maximum speed in on a highway in Abu Dhabi? The maximum speed in Abu Dhabi in on a highway is 160 km an hour, which is option number C. Next question. What percentage of crashes in Abu Dhabi are caused by driver under the influence of alcohol? Option number B, 14%. Next question. A driver using a mobile phone is how much more likely to be in a collision? Option D, four times it's likely to be in the collision. Next question. Question number 19 is, you can reduce the risk of aqua planning by staying below 80 km an hour. Option A is correct. Next question, when it's foggy, you should avoid overtaking, definitely, crossing traffic, you should avoid changing lanes, definitely, all these options are correct, so you need to 
choose fourth option which is all of these options are correct and our next question is question number 21 the best way of avoiding a crash is to reduce your speed option c is correct next question what is the maximum depth of tread on tire on your tires to be safe option b is 1.5 mm next question what should you do once you have cleared flood water on the road pump your brakes repeatedly option d is the correct one next question the best way to monitor your speed when driving is check the speedometer option d is the correct one next question when it is raining and there is a risk of aqua planning how much space should you leave to the vehicle in front option b is the correct option next question what percentage of injury crashes in Abu Dhabi have excessive speed as a contributory factor? It's almost 80%. Option C is the correct one. Next question. And our question number 27 is, when it's raining, water tends to gather first in the outside lane. Option A is the correct one. Next question. When driving in heavy rain, you should use your headlights. Option B is the correct one next question and our second last question is you should only use a mobile phone in your car when it is urgent no when you are traveling below km an hour when you are parked you should only use a mobile phone in your car when you are on a park in a parking situation you can use your mobile phone option c is the correct one next question and this is our last question of this quiz if you are tired you should never drive your car option b is the correct one and now at the end of the quiz this website also allow us to see the result of all the questions uh, it also tells you uh, while you are selecting the question and at the end it also give you the answers for the preparation uh, so guys in this video we are also covered one more quizzes so let's get started i am going to this english quizzes and in english quizzes again i am going to abu dhabi light motor theory test and I click on test number one. In test number one, okay, uh, test we have already saw test number one, so we need to go to test number two. So that's why I need to select this test number two and let's get started. And our question number one is when passing a cyclist or a motorcyclist in a car or other vehicle, you must leave at least how much space? You must need to leave at least one meter space. Next question. If you use a priority bus and taxi lane, you can be fined 600 AEB. Yes, option B is the correct one. And our next question is, what percentage of crashes in Abu Dhabi occur at night? 52% of the crashes occurred at Abu Dhabi in night. Option B is the correct option. Next question. The outside lane on a highway should be used for overtaking only. Okay, option C is the correct one. Option, uh, question number 5 is, the special priority lanes for buses and taxis may also be used by emergency vehicle. Option C is the correct one. And question number six is high beam headlights should be used. Option number C in unlit areas. You need to use headlights in unlit areas. Next question. Uh, when do pedestrians have right of way? Option B is the correct. Pedestrians have right of way all the times. Option B is the correct one. And our next question is question number eight. You should never overtake a bus or a truck when it's slowing down. Option D is the correct one. And next question, question number nine is if you break down on a highway, what should you do? You need to exit the car and leave your hazard on. Option B is the correct one. And next question, and question number 10 is if another driver comes towards you with high beam headlights on you should do you should lock down and to the right option b is the correct one next question you must give a way to emergency vehicle with siren surrounding or flashing line definitely uh, for the emergency vehicle you need to give a way all the time which is option number a next question question number 12 is when carrying a heavy load on a pickup, you should distribute the load evenly over the cargo areas. Option D is the correct one. Next question. Question number 13 is, when is it compulsory to have your car headlights on between sunset and sunrise? Option D is correct. Next question. Question number 14 is, driving aggressively does all these things okay definitely uh, driving aggressively will cause makes crashing more likely increase fuel consumption 
and also cause congestion so these all the options are correct that's why we need to select our last option which is does all these things and our next question is uh, question number 15 towing a trailer will affect uh, all these are affect with uh, towing a trailer so all these options are correct which is option number b and question number 16 is the safest way to brake is gradually and yearly. Option A is correct. Next question. Question number 17 is When road and weather conditions are good, how far should you stay behind the vehicle in front? 2 seconds. Option B is the correct one. Next question. Question number 18. The maximum weight designated for your pickup refers to the weight of cargo, equipment and extra equipment. Option number A. Next question. Question number 19. Whenever possible, you should drive in the slow lane. Option number C is the correct. Next question. Question number 20. Truck and bus drivers have blind spots in all these places. Okay, what are these places are? Also check out that. Next to the left hand door, directly in front of them, directly behind them. Okay, option A is the correct one. Next question. Question number 21 is cyclist and motorcyclists are entitled to use the full width of the lane option B. Next question. Question number 22. When changing lanes or making a turn, you should use your indicator all the time. Option B is the correct one. Next question. Question number 23 is if you have broken down and have a reflective triangle, where should, uh, where should you position it? Option C. 50 am from vehicle facing approaching traffic. Okay, our next question is which is question number 24. Which of these circumstances should make you increase your following distance? When you are carrying a heavy load, definitely it's also correct. When it is a dark, it's also correct. When it is raining. Uh, so option C is the correct one. All these options are correct. Next question, question number 25. If a trailer starts to sway, you should maintain a steady speed. Option D is the correct one. Next question. Your journey will be safer and more pleasant when you plan in advance. Option B is the correct one. Next question. Question number 27 is. When approaching another driver with your high beam headlights on, you should dip your own headlights. Okay, option A is the correct one. Next question, question number 28 is, when going downhill towing a trailer, you should select a lower gear. Option A is correct. Next question, question, uh, this is our second last question. When a school bus has its flashers on, that means it is picking up or dragging off students. Option D is the correct one. And our last question is, school buses in Abu Dhabi are limited to 80 km and over. Okay, option A is the correct one. And uh, now guys, here we are going to end this videos. In our next videos, we can also provide you a lot of other quizzes with answers. So don't forget to subscribe this channel and we will meet you in our next video. Till that, goodbye.